Hare Krishna, everyone. All glories to Sri Prabhupada. Today, our Parukama party is visiting the temple of Radha Damodar here in Sri Vrindavan Dham. It's known uh, amongst Gaudiya Vaishnavas as one of the seven main temples out of 5,000 temples in Braj. And it's particularly dear to the members of the International Society for Krishna Consciousness. Actually, it's very special for a number of reasons. To begin with, it's situated in the auspicious Sevakunj, where 5,000 years ago, Radha and Krishna had many of their loving pastimes, including the uh, famous Rasa Lila dance. 500 years ago, it's where Shamananda Pandit uh, found the anklet of Shimati Radharani. That's a whole pastime. It's also well known because it's where Jiva Goswami established this temple of Radha Damodar. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu asked the six Goswamis, his immediate followers, to go to Vrindavan for three particular reasons. To establish deity worship and thus uh, build temples. To find the lost places of Krishna's pastimes and to write books on the science of Krishna consciousness. So each of the six Goswamis had their temples, and Jiva Goswami established the temple of Radha Damodar. That was his, or is ever, forever, his worshipable deity. And it's interesting that Jiva Goswami was the only initiated disciple of Sri Rupa Goswami. And out of love for his disciple, Rupa Goswami personally carved by hand the beautiful deity of Dhamadhar. So the temple was established by Jiva for the worship of Dhamadhar. Also uh, on the altar, there's many deities, but on the altar uh, we see today the uh, Govardhan Shila, the large Govardhan Shila that was given to Shila Shanatan Goswami by Lord Krishna himself. So Natan Goswami, um, he would actually do Govardhan Parikama uh, almost every day when he lived in Vrindavan. Every day he would go on Govardhan Parikama. But uh, when he became elderly, it was difficult for him to do that. So Lord Krishna famously appeared before him one day and gave him a Govardhan Shila. And he said to Sanatana Goswami, you don't have to do the uh, you know, 24 kilometers <laughs> uh, pilgrimage every day, the long walk every day. You simply do Parikama around this Shila. So that's there on the, on the altar. It's very special also because Srila Jiva Goswami, who carried on the mission of the other five Goswamis after they departed, um, his Samadhi is there, as well as the Samadhi of his spiritual master, Srila Rupa Goswami. Actually, out of respect for his spiritual master and his humility, um, Srila Jiva Goswami has made or, or made Rupa Goswami's um, samadhi, uh, the prominent samadhi at Radha Damodar. Rupa Goswami uh, is known as the Rasacharya. He's the, the teacher of deep, uh, loving mellows of devotional service, as expressed so beautifully in his Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu and other literatures that he wrote. In fact, uh, Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur glorifies uh, Rupa Goswami in his Madhurya Kandamini 1-2. Uh, he writes, In previous ages, many great souls took shelter of Bhakti Devi. In this age, however, by the grace of Krishna's dear associate, Srila Rupa Goswami, we have been given the wisdom to realize her in the form of rasa. I therefore pay my obeisance to, obeisances to him constantly. Very beautiful glorification. Now, as we mentioned earlier, for ISKCON devotees, the Radha Damodar Temple considered it very, very special because it's where Srila Prabhupada resided for six years. Just after taking sannyas, or not long after taking sannyas, Srila Prabhupada came to Vrindavan to prepare his mission for going to the West. And after staying briefly in another temple, Prabhupada moved to Radha Damodar Temple where he rented um, two small rooms, two very small rooms, which you'll see here in the video. And it was there that he began translating his Srimad Bhagavatam. One of the rooms served uh, as, as a kitchen 
for Srila Prabhupada, where he would also take prasadam. Srila Prabhupada said, he, as he was taking prasadam every day, he would look out uh, the kitchen window where he would uh, see the samadhi of Rupa Goswami and take inspiration for uh, successfully preaching Krishna consciousness uh, w- when he went to the West. Actually, Jiva Goswami um, has uh, said of Rupa Goswami in this regard of getting inspiration. He writes in his Sri uh, Krishna, Sri Radha Krishna Charna Deepika, number one. He writes, Sri Rupa, eternal peace incarnate, identical in mood to Sanatana, his elder brother, and whose younger brother was Sri Balaba, is the means of my success and the good fortune of all the jivas. So in that mood, Sridhar Prabhupada, living so closely to the samadhi of Rupa Goswami, got so much inspiration from Jiva Goswami to take the teachings of Krishna consciousness to the West. Sridhar Prabhupada spent many years there, again six years, and he said one time that uh, he actually resides eternally in his rooms there. So those rooms are actually in possession of, of, of Iskon and Every day devotees go there, they uh, clean Prabhupada's little quarters, small quarters, uh, um, where his bed is there, there's a, a table there, a cushion where Prabhupada would write his purports to Srimad Bhagavatam. You know, maybe four or five devotees can sit in there very small. And they also clean his kitchen just a, a few meters away. It's a seva that goes on um, every day. Early in our movement, um, when Prabhupada first took some disciples to Vrindavan, he actually held classes at Radha Damodar. One time, during one of those classes, he said that the area between um, his uh, Rupa Goswami's samadhi, and just across from the samadhi, there's another shrine. It's like, celebrates where Rupa Goswami would do his bhajan. So Prabhupada said the area between Rupa Goswami's samadhi, where his sacred body remains, and where he did his bhajan, it's maybe 10 or 50 meters distance. He said, that is the most sacred place in the universe. <laughs> the most sacred place in the universe. <laughs> so we were invited by uh, one of the five Goswami brothers who managed the temple for um, prasadam there as well a, a, as a tour and um, during the tour we we passed by um, w- w- uh, the kitchen with uh, the Jiva Goswami had established for the worship of, of Lord Dhammadar the same place is there and um, I was told many years ago that just across from that kitchen there's a little uh, space there uh, and that is where the uh, six, go- six Goswamis would meet regularly to have kata, discuss about Krishna, have kirtan. This is what they enjoyed together. Because each in their own way were fulfilling the mission of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu by wandering around Vrindavan and finding the lost places of Krishna's pastimes. And they were busy with their own temples. They were all also writing uh, on, about the science of Krishna consciousness. They would live in different parts of Braj, but regularly they would come together for Krishna Kata, for Kirtan, and also you could say to to plan the greater movement of Krishna consciousness. Krishna consciousness uh, was meant to spread all over the world, as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said. The chanting of the Hare Krishna mantra will one day be heard in every town and village of the world. So you could say this was the original headquarters of the Sankirtan movement, in the sense that this is where the Goswamis. Uh, wrote and established and uh, you could say uh, revigorated um, uh, uh, Vrindavan made it visible to to people hoping that one day everyone would come to Vrindavan and take inspiration there from Radha and Krishna's pastimes Krishna and Balaram's pastimes really Jiva Goswami especially after the departure of the other five Goswamis the Radha Damodar temple served as the headquarters for Krishna consciousness at that time. As we did our tour uh, around the uh, the temple, which has been nicely renovated, I must say, by the Goswamis there, um, I was asked to speak in the courtyard on this big 
asana, which is generally reserved for you know very erudite, advanced devotees, I felt very humbled. But uh, one of the Goswamis requested me to sit there and to speak. And as I was speaking about the history of Radha Damodar and the six Goswamis, especially about Sridhar Prabhupada and his time spent there and his vision for spreading Krishna consciousness all over the world, I was just thinking how, prou how proud Sridhar Prabhupada uh, would be that a humble member of ISKCON was speaking from that uh, asana. So again, um, this is where Prabhupada planned and began uh, the execution of his mission for the mission of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and fulfilling his own spiritual master's instructions to spread Krishna consciousness in English-speaking language. This is what Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati had instructed Srila Prabhupada. So you could say it began in earnest there at the Radha Dharma Temple and where Sri Rupa Goswami had certainly given Prabhupada blessings to perform that mission in the West. While visiting the Radha Damodar Temple, we just, all of us just, we kept reminding ourselves that really we were there only because of Sridhar Papa's invitation to come to Vrindavan. And it was by his mercy that we were taking this tour. A tour on a very beautiful winter's afternoon uh, in the all auspicious dam of Sri Vrindavan. Shishirada Damodar Ki, the six Goswamis of Vrindavan Ki, Shirabhavopada Ki. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy this video. Hare Krishna.